I'm going to show you the photos from the Eleanor Roosevelt Part 2 episode of History Shelf. History Shelf is available wherever you listen to your podcast. This is Lewis Howe. He was Eleanor's husband's political advisor. He first showed up in last week's episode, but I forgot to include him in one of the videos. This is Marian Anderson. She was a singer. She was the singer that the Daughters of the American Revolution refused to let her sing in their auditorium because she was African American. So Eleanor let her sing on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial on Easter Sunday. Eleanor also introduced her to the King and Queen of the United Kingdom. Eleanor also revoked her membership to the Daughters of the American Revolution because of the incident. This is Zora Neale Hurston. She was an author. She was the author that criticized Eleanor for not speaking out when a white school refused to let Marian Anderson sing in their auditorium. This is James Farley. He was head of the Democratic National Committee. This is Molly Dusen. She was head of the Women's Division of Democratic National Campaign Committee. This is Herbert Huber. He was the 31st president of the United States. He was the president before Eleanor's husband was president. This is Mary McLeod Bethune. She was head of the National Youth Administration's Negro Division. This is William Halsey Jr. He was the admiral of the troops that Eleanor visited during World War II. This is Charles Alfred Anderson. He was the Tuskegee pilot that took Eleanor up on a flight. He is known as the father of black aviation. This is E.H. Crump. He was a friend of Eleanor's husband. He was the one that ran two black Republicans out of Memphis. This is J.B. Martin. He was one of the Republicans that E.H. Crump ran out of Memphis. This is A. Philip Anderson. He was an African-American labor leader. He was the one that tried to get Eleanor involved in the E.H. Crump incident. This is Walter White, and no, he was not a character from the TV show Breaking Bad. He was an NAACP activist. This is Polly Murray. She was a civil rights activist. She was the one that denounced Eleanor's husband when he refused to talk about the racial tensions that were going on in the country.